You know what's the most painful and time consuming part of the design process? Especially the web design projects. It's not the research. It's not even the high fidelity designs. It's the early stages. When you're staring at a blank page thinking, okay, I need to design a wireframe, but how many pages does this website need? What sections go on each page? What's my style guide going to look like? And how is that style guide actually going to look like in actual design? That massive mental load of turning one vague idea into something visual and concrete, that's what takes up most of the time. And if you're anything like me, then you just don't think design. You need to see it. Getting to that first visual, that's hard. It takes hours, sometimes even days. So I thought that we are in this AI age now, so there has to be something out there to help, right? So I jumped into this rabbit hole and tried a bunch of AI design tools, some good, some not so much. Most of them skipped straight into polished mockups, but real designers know that that's not what we need. We need control, we need structure. We need that design process. After days of searching and testing, finally, finally I found something. It's called Reloom. And that's when things got interesting. I was able to go from just an idea to actual sensible wireframes and build complete style guide within just minutes. And just to put things into context, this process usually takes days, even months. And the best part, it works with Figma. And you know, we designers, we love Figma. Let me show you how it works. All right, so once you sign up for Reloom, it will take you to this dashboard. Now you can explore different settings here. Check out these tutorials if you want, but let's just see it in action and start a new project. Now, as you can see up here, we have basically three main functionalities, sitemap, wireframes, and style guide. A sitemap is basically a structured outline that shows all the pages of a website and how they are connected with each other. So first of all, in the sitemap, you can create sitemaps manually, but if I'm doing it manually, then what's the point, right? So we are going to use AI to do this for us. Let's say that we are staring at a blank page. Now we have nothing more than just an idea in our minds. We can paste that idea in here. So I've already copied a sample idea that I'm gonna paste in here. In here, you can choose how many pages we are looking for. So let's go with one to five pages for now. And here you can choose different languages, but let's go with English for now and hit generate sitemap. It's gonna take a few seconds and the AI is going to create the sitemaps for us. And there you go. It has created all these different pages on our sitemap and inside each page, it is telling us what different sections there would be. And you can move these sections around just like this and even delete them if you don't like any of them. Now, you might be wondering how is this useful, right? So let me explain. See this description under each section. In the next step, which is wireframing, Reloom is going to use this description to generate the wireframes with the relevant copy for each different section using AI. Now, of course you can modify it, but I think so Reloom has done a pretty good job. So let's continue to the wireframes now. And look at that. It is generating wireframes based on all the sitemaps and sections that we just created. It's gonna take maybe a minute, but it's totally worth it considering how much time it's saving. It's done. Let's have a look. So it has created wireframes for the home page, about page, and all the other pages that we generated in the sitemap. And you can see that for each section, it has created a wireframe with relevant copy based on this description. You can even change it right from here and click generate copy to update the content using AI. It's really smart how they have done it. It quickly gets the ball rolling and still gives you that control over your design process. Now, if you don't like the look of a wireframe of any section, just select that and select this option here and you can swap it with a wide variety of options. I mean, look at that. So many components for each different section. Or you can just press this shuffle component button to try out different layouts for each section. And the best part is that it keeps the copy intact. Let's keep shuffling and find something that we like. I quite like this one. Yep, this is nice. Let's go with this one. By the way, you can continue adding more pages right from here, but for now we are good. If you're happy with your wireframes at this point, you can export them to Figma. Just select Figma from this dropdown and click export. And this is where it tells you how to export this into Figma. But let's not do that right now because we still want to figure out what our style guide is going to be. So let's go to style guide right from here. By the way, if you are a UI UX designer, then you must already know how important it is to learn Figma. 
it's the best tool for UI design so far. And to be honest, there are so many advanced features in Figma that not a lot of designers even know exist. So if you want to master Figma, go check out these two videos on my channel. These will take you from the very basics to an expert. Watch the variables masterclass after you have watched the Figma course. These are the kind of videos that people sell as courses. Just saying. I made them free, so no excuses. All right. Links for both of them are in the description. In the style guide section on the right, we have our home page design based on our wireframes that we just created. And this is not like a final design, and this is not supposed to be a final design. This is just a concept to test our style guide. On the left, you can see that it has created a default style guide for us. We have different UI styling, we have typographies and colors that are being applied in the home page on the right. I can switch between light and dark themes. I can press this shuffle button to automatically shuffle through different colors, typography and styles. And you can see the live preview of the updated style guide on the right. You can use this shuffle scheme button to switch between different colors you already have in your style guide. Now, let's say that you have a color you like, or let's say that is your brand color. Well, you can choose that right from here, just like this, and then you can lock it so that it doesn't change when we shuffle. Let's lock the neutral colors here as well and click shuffle now. And you can see that it maintains that purple primary color. You don't like a section color scheme? Just click on it and try different colors, just like this. The best thing is that it is intelligent enough to understand what should be the balanced color contrast between the foreground and the background. Now let's talk typography. Well, you can change that too. You can click here to change the heading font. First, it's going to ask you what style do you prefer. Let's go with sans serif. Then it's going to show you some fonts and ask you to like them so it can give you more personalized recommendations. Once you like a few, then click find recommendations. Now look, it has brought some fonts that match our preferences. Now let's go with this one here. Maybe this one. Well, the point is find the font that you like. You can even use this shuffle button to shuffle between different fonts till you find the one you like. Similarly, you can also do this for the body font. Now look at these buttons. These are gradient buttons. I don't like that. So I can go in here and choose from different styles of buttons. They have a bunch of them. Elevated buttons. Look at that. You can see it has updated in the design. They have brick buttons, bubble buttons. Let's actually go with the default button that looks much better. I can even control the border radius of the buttons. I can make them square just like this. There you go, all of our buttons are now square. So you see how you can customize your style guide and make it your own and test it out in actual scenarios before you commit to it. What I really like is that Reloom isn't trying to replace tools like Figma. They know that these tools are far more mature for detailed design work. Instead, they're building a smart bridge generating genuinely useful UI resources like wireframes with AI and making it easy to bring them into Figma to build upon it. And I think so that's a very clever approach. This is just one concept. You could create multiple concepts and try out different style guides to see what works for you. Once you're happy with your style guide, now it's time to export to Figma. Just choose Figma from the dropdown and click export. Export process is pretty straightforward. First, click this button to open Reloom's Figma kit in Figma. It will first open this in Figma community, so just click open in Figma on the community page. This will open and save it in your Figma draft files. Now this file is a well-structured Figma file with all these different pages where everything will go like sitemaps and wireframes once we bring them in. If you go to the style guide, you will see some default styles already created for you. Don't worry about these. These will get updated in just a few minutes. You also have all these pre-built wireframe components if you want to use them. But for now, let's bring in our wireframe. So to do that, I am going to go to wireframe page and run the Reloom plugin right from here. It's going to ask you to log in if you're not already logged in. I have already connected, so it took me directly to the projects in Reloom. Now, here we have our closing project that we just created in Reloom. So let's go in here. Here you can choose what you want to bring in. Let's go with the wireframe and you can choose specific page if you like, but let's go with all for now. And now depending on your computer, it will take a few minutes and bring in all the wireframes. 
there you have it it has imported all the wireframes and it has saved six hours which might be true but actually it might have saved me much more time because i was working with a blank page we have imported all the wireframes for all different pages for both desktop and mobile view ready to be used in figma but notice that it is not using the font that we decided in reloom that's because we haven't still imported our style guide so let's go to our concept page run the plugin again and this time let's import style guide and concept if you have multiple concepts you can choose between them right here and let's continue now this process can take up to three to five minutes i know that they say 10 minutes but it is usually done within three to five minutes i understand that three to five minutes is still a lot but the time it is saving you it's totally worth it to wait three to five minutes all right it's done let's close this if you see this memory usage warning, just ignore this, it's not a problem. Now look, we have our concept here, but as I said, this is not actually what matters. If I go to the style guide, see how it has updated all our style guide with just one click. This is what actually matters. If you had to do this manually, it will take you hours, maybe days to do all this stuff. And not to mention that style guide that you did manually would not be tested in actual scenarios, but this one is. And the best part is that it is all set up in variables. You can see you have primitive colors, color schemes, typography, UI style, everything updated according to your style guide that you created in Reloom. If I'm being totally honest and I was starting with a blank page, it would have taken me days to get at this point. Now, if I go to the wireframes, I see all the fonts have been updated to our font. The buttons are using the colors from our style guide. I mean, it's just amazing. Now, I'm not looking at a blank screen anymore. I can start building on top of this right here in Figma. And this is what makes sense for me, not the tools that give you the final design with just a prompt. Those tools just don't make a lot of sense for me. You know what I mean? Anyways, I've actually started using Reloom with my real clients. I take their briefs, clean them up, and generate wireframes using Reloom and pitch them back. Now, clients love the quick turnaround, and of course, they have suggestions and feedback, but now I can refine them in Figma. It gives the whole project a solid jumpstart and saves me tons of manual effort. I highly recommend checking this out. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign.